Hey there, and welcome to another episode of the iOS Show, the show that is all about apps as well as tips and tricks for your iPad, iPhone, as well as your iPod Touch. Today, we are taking a look at the app called Splashtop, and Splashtop is a remote desktop application allows you to remotely connect and control any of your Macs or your PCs. So let's just take a look at the app right now. So this is Splashtop. And uh, it's quite easy to use, just download this uh, Splashtop streamer, which is a free download for both the Mac as well as the PC. Install it onto your computer, and then that's it. You know, install this app, purchase this app from the App Store, launch it, and you'll find your computer is appearing, you know, on, on, the, on this launcher right here. And I'm just going to con connect to uh, my Mac right now, just to show you what's it like. So here it is. Um, so you, the first thing you'll see are the kind of gestures that you can do. This is one of the things that I like about Splashtop, which is that they have very good gestures that actually work. You know, if you recall the uh, the Parallels mobile video that I did the other time in episode two of uh, the iOS show, so that was an example of a of a remote desktop app that didn't have very good gestures. This one actually has really good ones, so I can demonstrate them to you. So obviously you have the click. So I'm just gonna click. So you can click. All right, two fingers on the screen, and you can scroll, and the scrolling actually works, and it works really well. It it works just like you would expect it to work if you were using an iPad application. So you know, you put push your fingers up, the screen goes up. Push your fingers down, the screen goes down. Um, there's also a mouse over gesture, which is very useful. So basically, if I take my two fingers and I tap, you know, the mouse just goes over it. Oops, that was a click. That was a fail filled demonstration. Let me try that one more time. Alright, so just use my two fingers and tap and there you go. So it's mouse over but it doesn't click which is really cool. If you want to do a right click uh, all you gotta do is um, just press one finger and hold and ta-da! It's a right click which is really nice. So all the gestures work really well and um, so you can also use three fingers and tap once and it will bring up some shortcuts, including this one right here, which shows you the gestures again. Um, so you can see that there is actually some other options. Let me just bring them up. Oops, three fingers. Okay. Uh, you have the option to cho change between one screen. You're, if you have multiple displays on your machine, you can actually change, choose to switch between them. You can also bring up, uh, you know, a, a, a control pad, which is great for games. Actually, if you have, if you play games uh, on your computer, you can just, you know, use these to play games. They're at the right position for you to play games with as well, so, which is really awesome. This is the keyboard. I really like the keyboard because they have a whole bunch of shortcuts. You got a shift, control, alternate, the command key. You got the function keys right here. You got the up, down, left, right arrows. If you need them, they're all, they're all right up here. And um, so all the Mac specific uh, controls are here as well. And um, you know you can always bring the, the keyboard up and down, uh, and you can scroll using three fingers. If you want to scroll around the screen, let me just hide the. Um, the four-way controls right here. Whoops, wrong button. This one right here. But the coolest thing really is the fact that um, not only does it actually stream video um, or whatever is being shown really well. It's, it's actually, as you can tell, it's, it's very smooth. Of course, within the network, it also streams audio as well, thanks to uh, Soundflower that that comes with uh, the Splash Shop itself. So, um, hi, this is Justin from. So you can hear five. that there's Today audio coming here. out. Academy Studio. Uh, you can hear the not just the video but also the audio coming out and you can see that the video actually the streaming is actually it's actually quite smooth let me just uh, see if I can fast forward that oops that was the volume yeah let's just play that camera also comes with a dual CS see that? slot it's amazing the one DS is the world fastest full frame DSLR by the way, uh, my props to uh, Justin Ng for his first video that he's ever done for Tech 65. Um, but anyway, back to the application itself. So really awesome streams video as well as audio. Uh, and let me just show you what it looks like if it's on a Windows machine. So I'm just gonna disconnect right here and go to this other Windows machine that's standing by right now. And um, one thing that I really like about it is that um, the keyboard is specific. So you know, if you are on a a, a, a Mac, you will have Mac specific keys. You're on Windows, you'll have Windows specific keys. Now this machine has been having a little bit of issues, so um, never mind. That's a, it doesn't really work right now. It's the computer's fault, not so much of the app, because I never had issues connecting to a Windows machine. Um, so uh, one of the great things about it is that you actually have a Windows key. Um, let's go back to the Mac itself. I want to show you some of the, the, uh, uh, some of the features that's available on the desktop application itself. All right, so let me just go to Splash Top, which is right up here. Go to the preferences, and um, so you can see that the, the settings, uh, status. Um, so 
the security. One other great thing about it is that you have the ability to set it up such that it will broadcast you know, your machine over the internet as well. So it's not just using your Google account, so if you have a Gmail account, enter your Gmail username and password, and um, you know it will allow you to connect to your machine even if you're outside of the network, which is really great. So this application is actually quite an affordable application. Yet in terms of features, it's almost um, uh, you, you get almost all the features that you get with something else that's more expensive, such as uh, Log Me In, which costs almost thirty US dollars. So this one is significantly cheaper, but still allows you to connect um, to this machine over the internet, which is a, a really awesome thing. And um, yeah, so this is uh, the Splash Top streamer another feature that uh, the last feature that I want to show you is uh, the, the its ability to scale the display so I'm gonna do that by going through the settings go to advanced and I can show you that it will automatically resize the display of um, of your Mac or your PC the resolution so that you know but the default setting is it will resize it to 1024 by 768 that's the reason why even though my Mac is a wide screen but the moment I Launch it with um with uh, uh the splash top streamer. It looks like as if you know it's built for the iPad itself. You know, pixel for pixel, you know, resolution is perfect. The other advantage of having the uh the window scale the way that it's doing right now is the fact that um that allows you to stream less things. Um, oops, I've got to I gotta close. Whoa, minimize this before. Um, so the what it allows you to do is it streams less things, right? So because it's just one zero two four by seven sixty eight, you don't stream extra pixels. So that actually allows it to um, stream a lot smoother. So that was uh, the Splash Top streamer, and uh, let's take a look at it from App Shopper's point of view at, uh, at how much this application um, costs and whether should you buy it right now. Right now at this point in time, it's four dollars and ninety nine cents. But if you recall, this was the application that I told you about that the price goes up and down all the time. So you can see that. You know, at, at in October it went down to one dollar ninety nine cents. I purchased it at one dollar ninety nine cents. So my recommendation is use App Shopper and mark it as wanted, and let App Shopper alert you and only buy the application if it's at one dollar ninety nine cents. If you're willing to wait, um, it has gone to ninety nine cents before, but it's really really rare that it reaches ninety nine cents. So um, don't don't buy what it's saying that the regular price is nineteen ninety nine. It's never been there. Um, you can easily get it at one dollar ninety nine. It happens at least maybe about once every two months. So if you're willing to wait, one dollar ninety nine cents is all you need to pay for the Splash Top remote desktop for the iPad. There is an iPhone version as well, and you can get that one at ninety nine cents. All the features that you saw on on the iPad version is available on the iPhone as well. So um, you know if you have an iPhone and not an iPad, you can install the application. In fact, um, Splash Top has once released the iPhone application for free as well. So if you're willing to wait, you should do that. So um, yeah, that was the Splash Top streamer for the iPad and available for the iPhone as well. If you found this video that's useful to you, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Subscribe at youtube.com slash 65bits. Give us a thumbs up to let us know that we're doing a good job. If we're not doing a good job, leave a comment. Tell us how we can improve. Make sure you visit our website as well at www.tech65.org. Um, you know, the, the two Justins, Justin Ng as well as Justin Lee, they are on location all the time going out for press events, checking out the coolest gears that's available um, that's being launched um, in Singapore right now. So, you know, be sure to check out all of our other videos there as well. And uh, of course, you know, catch me on Gear 65 and catch Jarek on uh, Ask Jarek. All of that's available at our website as well as our YouTube channel. And I will see you guys very soon. See you guys. Goodbye.